the joy, and the joy God intended, God intended for me to have. Me to have. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reads today come from the New Testament, the last book, Revelation. Amen. Revelations chapter 21, beginning with verse 6. Revelation chapter 21, beginning with verse 6. Amen. Amen. 21 and 6 reads, and he said unto me, it is done. Uh -huh. I am Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Uh -huh. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, uh -huh. and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful yeah. and unbelieving, mm -hmm. abominable, mm -hmm. murderers, mm -hmm. and homongers, mm -hmm. sorcerers, mm -hmm. adopters, and all lies, shall have their part in a lake with burning with fine brimstone, mm -hmm. which yields the second death. Mm -hmm. I go out bless his word. Amen. Amen. I like to use for the subject, God said, God said. I am Alpha uh -huh. and Omega. Mm -hmm. God said, yes. I am Alpha and Omega. Mm -hmm. Which means I am the first mm -hmm. and the last. Yes. The Bible says the first will be last mm -hmm. and the last will be first. Yeah. So, in my little big mind, it tells me, Brother Chris, that all the people that I think got going on, y'all yeah. gonna talk to me? Yeah. They're gonna be last. Right. Yeah. And all the folks that I think don't have it, y'all yeah. ain't talking to me. Right. Don't have it going on, gonna be first. Right. So, don't spend a lot of time trying to worry about what category you fit in. Right. As long as you got a guard on your side. Now, I know you probably wondered why I chose to look at these scriptures today. It's simple. Some of us have forgot who and what God really is. Yes. Yes. We have forgot. Yes, We've already forgotten what he did for us just this morning. Mm -hmm. right now. He woke us up. Yes. So some of us are so busy with our little lives mm -hmm. that we've forgotten who put us here in the first place. Now, I know you forgot this. If you really understand where you came from mm -hmm. and who you belong to, yeah. the church will be packed. All right. If we understood, mm -hmm. I tell you, we don't understand. Mm -hmm. God had just gave His word to some of His people. Mm -hmm. He gave His word to all mm -hmm. His people. Mm -hmm. God's word is for all of us. To live by. Mm -hmm. God's word was for the Jews and the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. For which we are Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Which simply means we're not Jews. Right. That's all that means. Mm -hmm. God gave you an alpha. Mm -hmm. This was your beginning. Mm -hmm. Which is the time you were born. Mm -hmm. God also gave you an omega. Mm -hmm. This is the date of your expiration. That's right. Your end. But what is most important to God is what you do with your time between your Alpha and your Omega. Right. Yeah. It's called your life. Yes, yes, yes. There used to be a TV show, Sister Barbara, you know. <laughs> that, wasn't a rock. that wasn't a rock. <laughs> oh, age. <laughs> Anybody my age and up. This is your life. That was so cool, what you call it? This is your life. This is your life. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, I remember. They would show segments mm -hmm. of celebrities' life. Mm -hmm. 
Well, baby, when you stand before God, when this life is over, he's going to have the book called the book of life. If your name not in it, Lord, oh, help me today, then you'll be cast into the lake of fire. That's what the Bible said. I didn't say that. That's what the Bible said. We were all born into a sinful world. But that don't mean we have to die in sin. That don't mean we have to wallow in sin. That's right. That's right. Because if you die in sin, that's your choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not what God wants for you. That's right. Your Christian journey with God will determine where you would go in your omega, mm -hmm. in your end. Yes. John 3.16 told us, whosoever believes, Lord have mercy, on his son shall receive everlasting life. Yes. That's eternal life. That's now. Yes. Now, my question is, where were you called home? Mm -hmm. Clearly, this earth is not my home. No, yeah. no, no, no. Because my home is heaven. All right. I, Say that. I can't talk to nobody else, not even Sister Max, but I'm heaven bound. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to do the best I can while I'm here. Yes. yes. But I'm heaven bound. Yes. Because, yes. boys, I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't talking to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If he called me this evening, mm -hmm. I'm ready to go. All right. My home is where there's no more murder. All right. My home is where there's no more crime. All right. And there's no more lying. Y'all ain't talking to me. Right. So this place is not my home. No. No, no, no. The grave is not the end, mm -mm. but a new beginning. Yes. That's right. If the grave could hold Jesus, talk to me today. All right. He can't hold me either. All right. That's right. Because I'm a child of the king. All right. All right. Come on now. This is not the end of a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Because then the afterlife starts. Mm -hmm. There's not one person in this room who hasn't heard the gospel in some form or fashion. True. There's not one person in this room yeah. who has not cried out to God, God, have mercy on me. Yes. At one time or another. Mm -hmm. Somebody said it this morning. Somebody saying it right now. Mm -hmm. If you say you've never heard of God, then you lie. Mm -hmm. Pastor called me lying. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> because I tell you about God every Sunday. Mm -hmm. There's not a person in the room who doesn't know right from wrong. Because God has put within each one, every one of us a conscience. Uh -huh. A conscience. Uh -huh. Which is an inner sense of right and wrong. Yes. Even if you don't have the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. you still have a conscience. Yes. Yes. That conscience shows you and tells you right or wrong. That's right. You may not do right, yes. but the conscience tells you right. Uh -huh. That's right. So during this journey called life, we will become we go, or we'll come wiser. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. During this journey of life, we'll become weaker or wiser. Uh -huh. Don't care how strong you are. If you don't have Christ, come then on, you're weak. Come on, come on. See, don't take a strong man. That's right. Don't take a strong man to lie. Oh, Anybody right. can lie. That's right. That's right. You can bust your lips, you can lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But I'll stop by to tell you today, I pray mm -hmm. that you stop lying mm -hmm. and start talking to Jesus. Right. If you're honest with yourself, you can see weaker. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Is it right today? Mm -hmm. Admit it. Computers in your hand. Mm -hmm. Call cell phones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this computer. Call to tell you when you're tired and need a break. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy, Deacon Allen, when the title of Thanksgiving mm -hmm. is flooded from the time I got in the car to the time I got out of it. Yeah. Took me two and a half hours to get the title. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. It ran that hard. Mm -hmm. I'm driving 45, Sister Max is saying, slow down. <laughs> I got 
he just calls him, yeah, guilty as he is. <laughs> Don't want to read his life. Lord, help me today. <laughs> you say that one more time, I'm making you turn. Lord, God ain't talking to me. Lord, help me today. Back then, how are we going? Lord, help me. But watch this. It wasn't that I was driving mad. It's because the detect on the car was recognizing roughness. Amen. The water hitting the tires. Well, in your life, the roughness of your lifestyle should tell you that you need to take a break. Right. Huh? Mm -hmm. And come to Jesus. Right. Now, Lord, help me. Let me tell you something funny. If your car can tell you, you need help. Uh-huh. Lord, I'm ready. Take a break. If why can't you listen to the warning that God sent you, me? Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. To tell you that you need God to tell you. That you need to take a break from all that mess. Because without God, baby, you can't do nothing but fail. Some want to get their life together, uh -huh. but they anticipate growing old. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it later on before I die. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 Pastor. I was that fool. Mm -hmm. I thought the same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can pop and lock and drop like a pot. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> now I can't hardly walk. <laughs> You stepped me a little hard for me now. Mm. When I first got shallow 13 years old, I could, I could leap yeah. into the pool. But now I got a drag. Y'all ain't talking to me. It's not because I don't want to be here, because I got to get some help to get out of here. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Yes. The problem is, you can't wait till you get old. The problem is, you you can get your notification before you get prayer. Right. You know what the notification is? Mm -hmm. you your notification is your time to leave here. Right. Your omega to go in. Right. So don't make that mistake. Get ready and stay ready now. Right. Revelation 21 and 6 reads, And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, mm -hmm. the beginning and the end. Mm -hmm. I've given to him that a thirst for, of the foundation of water of life freely. Seven says, He that overcometh shall inherit all things, mm -hmm. and I will be his God, yeah. and he shall be my son. Good God. Right. Yes. Right. What a mighty declaration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's done. It's, done. it's finished. Mm -hmm. It was heard at the morning of creation. I'm finished. Yes. It was heard at Calvary's cross. Y'all ain't praying for me. It is finished. It is finished. Mm -hmm. And now it's repeated here for the last time. It is finished. Closes all prophecy. It is finished. Mm -hmm. It is done. Wow. Now, how do you prepare for your inheritance? You might say, I'm a good person mm -hmm. in your eyes. Mm -hmm. I treat everybody right, so you say. Mm -hmm. I don't cheat anybody, so you say. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Man's opinion of himself yeah. is not God's opinion of him. All right. Let me say that again. Man's opinion of himself is not God's opinion of him. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't going to pray for me today. All right. gotcha. Your opinion of yourself is not God's opinion. Mm -hmm. It's your opinion. So you imagine yourself by man's standards. That's yeah. it, right there. Instead of imagining yourself by God's standards. Mm -hmm. God's standards are written in this book mm -hmm. called the Bible. All right. You can do this by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And then being baptized into the his death, burial, and resurrection. Mm -hmm. This is the real test. Mm -hmm. That's when the real test starts. That's you can hop around and do some things before you get baptized and accept Jesus Christ. But once you accept him, All right. now you're really going to be tested. Right. 
You sure you don't want to try it one more time? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. You sure you don't want another uh -huh. drink? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It can't one more bottle can't help you, mm -hmm. can't hurt you. Mm -hmm. Yes, it can. Yeah, It'll get you back on the same track that you just got off. Right. Right. I don't want to get back on that track. I wasn't going the same direction of the train. I'm going. Come on. <laughs> so, Nick, I mean the train. Oh, wow. You can't walk and talk like sandals mm -hmm. and expect people to know the difference. All right. Mm -hmm. You can't tell a pastor from a deacon. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me? Come on. <laughs> Lord, help me today, Sister Barbara. You. I'm sorry, Lord. You can't tell a different from a deacon to the cat that sits on the back that just eats in the building. Huh? Matter of fact, there's a deacon sitting on the back row because they don't want to help with devotion. Well, deacon that's on the back, please stay back there because I don't want to help with devotion. Because you ain't ready. God knows the difference. Yes. But man looks for flaws and pitfalls. Mm -hmm. Because man is so unforgiving. Yes. He won't forgive you for nothing that you've done. Mm -hmm. But watch this. Mm -hmm. When people write your obituary, mm -hmm. would they have to guess if you knew God? Lord have mercy. I do a lot of miracles, but some folks, sometimes I gotta call some folk. <laughs> Lord help me today. Give me some information, please. Because I don't know nothing nice to say. Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm telling you the truth. I'm gonna let you tell me the lie. <laughs> I'll just repeat it. Oh, Lord help me today. But when people write your obituary, would well, they need to guess if you knew God? You should live your obituary. Mm -hmm. They should have to lie to make you look good. You should already be looking good. That's right. That's it. That's it. Don't you look good laying in there? No, 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 no. How's she going to look good? She's dead. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm sorry. But what I'm saying is this. She looks good by her life that she lived. Yeah. He looks good by the life that he lived. Yes, yes, that's it. He's in better shape than you then when he landed across there. Uh -huh. Because all his worries are gone. That's right. All the mess in his life is over. Right. All the lying and cheating is over. That's right. Jesus. Mm -hmm. He reaches on Megan. Mm -hmm. Yes. 21 and 8 says this. The fearful. Mm -hmm. The unbelievable. The abominable, mm -hmm. the murderers, whole mm -hmm. mongers, yeah. sorcerers, mm -hmm. idolaters, mm -hmm. and liars. And I find myself in there. Oh, wow. I found myself in there. All right, all right. <laughs> Those will have their part in the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible says. Yes, it is. Which burns with fire brimstone. Yes, that's right. Which is the second death. Mm -hmm. But see, I, I just want to die once. Mm -hmm. And then I want to live forever. All right. Come on down. Sinners will die twice. Yes, wow. Jesus. Yes, sir. If you walk like a Christian, believe him. Yes, sir. But you're walking a little sideways. Mm -hmm. You smell like a Christian, believe him on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. But smell like a Bud Light 30 pack on Saturday night. Y'all ain't praying for me. Right. If you bless a meal once a year, that was Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. All the other meals you're y'all ain't talking to me. All right. You got work to do. That's right. Mm. Work on spending quality time with God. Mm -hmm. yes. Develop a proud life with Jesus. Right. Let God hear your voice. Mm -hmm. Not just when the house is on fire, yes. but when your heart is on fire. Right. All right. Come on. Mm -hmm. Let God hear your praise. Yes. Yes. Not just on Sunday morning, but from Sunday evening through Saturday night. All right. Start getting ready for Sunday morning, Saturday night. Mm -hmm. yes. If you think you're doing pretty good, Lord have mercy. I'm going to tell you a secret pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
going to be a stench in God's nose. That's right. Pretty good, not good enough. Not good enough. How do you treat the neighbor? Right. How do you treat your co workers? Yeah, right. How do you treat the friends? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you. Are you putting your neighbor down? Mm -hmm. Are you setting up your co worker for failure? Because mm -hmm. you want his job? Yeah, yeah. We've seen it. Yeah. We've seen it. Because you want his job? Mm -hmm. I've had that happen to me my whole career. But come December 31st, they can have my job. Y'all ain't talking to me. Huh? You ain't allowing me no more. I'm giving it to you on a civil platform. Are you still backstabbing your friends? Yeah. You click yes on Facebook. But, oh, y'all ain't talking to me. But then you get on your phone and call Tyrone. Y'all just talk to me still. Right. Get close to God's ear. Yeah. And say, forgive me, Lord. Yes. I've done wrong. Yes. Forgive me, Lord. Yes. I never meant to ignore you. Yes. Forgive me, Lord. I never meant to obey your word. Yes. I just got sidetracked. Yes. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me. For I realize now, this earth is not my home. Yes, Lord. I want to sit on your right side yes, once again. Yes, then listen and obey his word. Mm -hmm. I love that old saying, don't ask God to guide your path if you won't move your feet. That's right. That's right. What I'm saying today, don't ask God to move your path if you're not willing yes. to move your feet in right. the, the direction that God yes. has prepared for you. Right. So you can move your feet in the wrong direction right. and yes. go to the wrong place. Right. And wind up in hell. Y'all ain't talking to me. Right. Mm. Now, I hate to know you woke up in hell and found me sitting up there now. Woo! Oh, oh, my Lord. goodness. Huh? All right. All right. That's why I'm trying to walk light mm -hmm. and walk right. All right. Because I don't want you to look up in there. I sit. All right. Pastor said, you yell at this me. Sorry, I'm just telling you the truth. Don't call me past anymore. <laughs> Jesus. This is God telling me this. Y'all not making this up. <laughs> Jesus help me. But nothing is impossible for God to fix. That's all I'm trying to tell you. That's right. Nothing. You want to obey the word because, Lord have mercy, that's not something you want to do. That's not reason you're not obeying his word. Yeah. You don't want to do right. right. You love doing wrong. Mm -hmm. You won't move your feet because you're satisfied where you are. Right. Yeah. You ain't going to be told you you're having fun. Mm -hmm. But when you realize you've been tricked by Satan, yeah. Yeah. it might be too late. Yes. Your maker, your end may be already come. Mm -hmm. Revelation 23 and 13, Jesus said, I am the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. Jesus is the author, the star, the beginning and finish of all things. And no other can claim that but Jesus. That's why he died for us all with three nails on the cross. And for that, Lord, I say thank you. Then he rose on that third day one with all power. For that, Lord, I say thank you. Then he accepted me into his throne. Yes. And for that, Lord, I say thank you. Thank you. He put his arms around me and held me tight mm -hmm. yes. all night long. And for that, Lord, I say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Father God, I thank you. Thank you. To the brother Chris and his family sitting back there, Lord, and I. God said, I am Alpha and Omega. Mm -hmm. I am the first and the last. Mm -hmm. The door of the church open. But that we want today. And when the time is Jesus Christ and your Lord and Savior. But that we want. Mm -hmm. 